All right, welcome back. We've all heard of spring cleaning. As we usher in the warmer months, many people like to start fresh cleaning or decluttering their homes, their closets, you name it. One thing health experts say you should also include your medicine cabinet. Tomorrow is National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. And while you probably know or even are someone who holds on to spare medicines just in case you need them down the road, turns out in many cases you aren't doing yourself any favors. One reason? Pharmacists say expired medicines can be less effective, even potentially risky. Medications break down over time. So when a patient takes an expired medication, that's really it's not going to work as well to begin with. So they're deferring resolution of whatever symptoms they're trying to treat or the illness they may have. And I try to counsel my patients not to keep expired antibiotics. Um, that's just going to contribute to the global antibiotic resistance going on. There's also a bigger issue at play here. The CDC reports that 50,000 young children end up in emergency rooms each year because they got into medicines while an adult wasn't looking. Drugfree.org says more than four in 10 teens who have misused or abused prescription drugs obtained it from their parents' medicine cabinet. Opioid abuse is, and, and prescription drug abuse is a, a big concern still in our country. So this is a way for them to do their part to help reduce the incidence of, you know, accidental overdose or illegal abuse or, or medications just simply ending up in the wrong hands. Now, you don't just want to throw medications in the garbage or down the drain. Tomorrow, they can be dropped off at any Indiana State Police post except the toll road post. There's also drop box locations listed on the DEA's website. Here's some right now listed for those in Marion County. Those locations, you can visit drop off medications as well.